It's Friday, September 19th. Hello, I'm Elizabeth Ashby, and here's what you need to know about what's happening at the University of Texas at El Paso. After months of anticipation, One Direction is finally making its way to the Sun Bowl. But before you go see Niall, Zane, Liam, Harry, and Lewis, there are a few things you need to know before you head to the UTEP campus. The ticket booth on the south side of the stadium will be closed, but you can still buy tickets and pick up will call tickets at the North Ticket Booth and at the University Ticket Center. When driving into the area, keep in mind that Glory Road will be closed from Sun Bowl to Oregon. You can access the area through Schuster, Sun Bowl, and Mesa. Doors open at 5 p.m. and the concert will happen rain or shine. You can't bring umbrellas into the Sun Bowl, so remember to bring your ponchos. For maps, ticket information, as well as guidelines on poster sizes, cameras, and prohibited items, visit utepspecialevents.com. Also this week, the new nanofabrication facility in the College of Engineering officially opened its doors. The $4.5 million facility provides a clean environment for engineers to conduct delicate nanotechnology research, which requires working with extremely small materials that are easily damaged by dust and other particles. UTEP researchers are currently using the facility to increase efficiency of solar cells in converting sunlight to electricity. They're also working with the Center for Energy Efficient Electronics Science to develop computer components that use less power. The College of Health Sciences is organizing its annual UTEP Commitment to Fitness 5K Run 3K Walk, and everyone is invited to register. The race is the first official event of UTEP Centennial Homecoming. It takes place on Sunday, October 5th at 8 a.m., and will start just outside the Health Sciences and Nursing Building on Wiggins Road. The race reflects the college's efforts to promote good health in the community. Proceeds from the race will benefit the Golden Age Fitness Program, which offers training to seniors developed by the Kinesiology Department. For more information on the race, visit chs.utep.edu slash runwalk. And speaking of the Golden Age Fitness Program, if you or someone you know is age 60 or older and interested in starting an exercise routine with a certified trainer, don't miss the opportunity to register for sessions at the new facility on the east side. The program has recently expanded to the Gary Del Palacio Recreation Center in East El Paso as part of an agreement between UTEP and the city of El Paso. Seniors with a doctor's note stating that they are healthy enough to start a routine are invited to register at the open house on September 30th. For more information about the program, visit goldenagefitness.utep.edu. For more on these and other stories, visit utepnews.com. I'm Elizabeth Ashby, and we'll see you next Friday. Go Miners!